everyone thank you so much for coming back to my channel thank you very much for subscribing it means a lot because i want to build a ministry a ministry where i have people subscribe to this channel who are you know praying people fasting people people who are broken that wants to seek the word of the Bible to change, to learn about patterns um, and behavior, to learn about generational curses, to learn that there's a lot fighting against us, but there's more for us because we're kingdom children. And when you recognize that you are a kingdom child, that you've raised, you know, been raised, no matter what your circumstances may be, because some of it is really dark, you're coming from so many experiences I can mention right now, but I want to keep this as light as, as possible because this is what the Lord has told me to, to talk about. So I know normally my videos, I'm on camera, but I'm doing what I've been told. And this message is about what have you learned this month? It's been 31 days in January and a lot has happened from the new year starting in all different places. And you know when you open your eyes and you really, really open your eyes and your ears to listen, there's so much that can be said. But you see, when you are living in the world and not being off the word, world and the word in the world or however you may place that on yourself, it is going to make you find out who you are where you where you're coming from and what your journey is going to be the bible says just to reiterate what i mean jesus said that do not be of the world be the world because the world will try to change who you are physically mentally and emotionally and you have to think why they're feeding so much fear why they're not teaching the bible why they're not teaching um, or encouraging those who are struggling um, or breaking the chain of poverty in the world. There's so much money has been put into so many things, but that yet there's people who have cancer. All these different diseases, some diseases are not curable. Poverty on all, all you know, level. And they focus on one thing and one thing, all, you know, only. The millions of billions of dollars have been focused on one thing. But we are focusing on what they tell you but you're not focusing on what God is telling you you know I was listening to Pastor Prince and he's such a man that I feel like he's trying to break down the scriptures so much for people to understand that when you are born you're not born by mistake you're born to be a man and you're born to be a woman stick to your identity Shape yourself into the right princess. God has raised you to from a girl to a princess to a queen. And for a man from a prince to a king. Now, the God created man first. Men is powerful. Men are supposed to be leading and directing us. But also, Jesus talked about different things. And also in First John talks about different people comes in different um, shape or form of energy. That's why I'm going to say it in because I don't want you guys to think um, I'm going off track here with what I want to bring to you guys through this ministry that I want to, to establish is that not everybody wants you to know how powerful you are. Not everybody wants to know for you to know that actually I'm going to break the chain of poverty, cancer, loss, perversion, I'm going to look at my bloodline and find out why so much of us die so easily or why marriages doesn't work, why I can't get married or what's going on, why can't I have children, all these different things. Why did God have to leave me in an abusive home or I got abused as a child? There's so many different things. But what I, what I want to tell you is that reflect on, on what happened this month because everything I'm saying it enhance all the experience that you've you've been through. You see your friends go through. So let me give you another example. If you sit on social media all day, the wrong social media all day, that's what you become. You start to look at other people and say, why not me? Why can I have this? 
But if you pick up the Bible and you read, you read, you mean like you truly read and you cast out all your burden to God and you take each scriptures as it comes, even if you're a beginner and you say, God, I give you all the glory because without him, you don't exist. And I have to make that very clear. Without him, he wouldn't make you have a phone. It wouldn't make you have internet. It, yeah, you may not be paying for it, but how did he bring that provision? Or maybe you are. You ha- the, Everybody's circumstances is different. So today, I'm asking you to review the whole month. Did you spend time with God? Did you call upon Jesus? Did you look at all the prophets and um, um, apostles in the Bibles? Did, did you read anything to feed your soul into something that is right for you? Did you call your ex-wife and say, how are you doing? Instead of arguing or thinking and thinking, no, you know, I'm good. I got somebody else. And ladies, it's the same thing. Did you call your ex-husband to find out how he is? Did you pray for him even though you don't want to because your heart is full up for unforgiveness? And the same thing goes for men. Even if you're divorced, even if you're separated from your fiance, whatever it may be, you're going through domestic violence. There's so much things I can tell you that causes all these things. But the most important thing is there's always a demon behind things. There's always a spiritual energy possessing somebody, possessing situation. Or, or witchcraft, or voodoo, or whatever it is, there's, oh, there's always the case, if you're not aware, if you're not understanding, or if you're not seeking. So I'm telling you today, you don't have no, no more depression. The depression is there, it's going to be real. You don't have no more sickness and the disease, in the name of Jesus, it's been removed, because you're going to start to believe. You're going to start reprogramming yourself the right way, and let God come in and stand in the mess with you. Because... If you want to be healed, what food is it you're eating? If you want to give up an addiction, what is it that you're doing to stop it? What are you replacing it with? And you can't replace it with another addiction. You need to replace it with the word of the Bible. Let it be your obsession. When last have you really looked at a family member situation and say, I'm going to bless you? Bless you in prayer. Bless them in learning fasting. Bless them financially. Whatever it may be. Have you blessed yourself? So today, there's so much that I'm speaking and thinking whilst I'm recording this right now. And I want to tell you, brothers and sisters, wake up. Wake up. Take this time. To build the new foundation of you. Go into your Bible. Send me an email. Leave a comment. Say something. I've always said it in my videos. Let's talk. If you want me to go on live on YouTube. Let's go live on YouTube. Let's learn together. Because I don't know everything. You don't know everything. We will never know everything. But we. But what I'm telling you. What I'm learning. I'm not going to teach you something wrong. If I don't know, I don't know. I'm going to stay stay quiet until God reveal what he needs to reveal in me. Because it's not a time now to be perfectly perfect. It's time to be right. Right in the scriptures. Right, right in many other things in your life. I want to build this ministry. And it's only by the trust, the hope, the faith, and the commitment of messages being changed or shared or exchange between you or sharing this video with someone, this is going to be possible for my channel to grow, for our channel to grow. Because you're going to say, well, actually, this is my channel. I know Michelle, and this is what I've been learning. I have so much to give thanks for, and I want you to make today, I don't know when you're going to listen to this message, but make it today that you sow a seed into somebody, somewhere, Not everything is about money. You need to sow a seed by listening. Sow a seed in yourself. Start doing something that is going to make you be profoundly stronger in the word. And then, you know, things will get better. I know it's going to take time for this ministry to grow. 
take time for me to do what I would like to do to bless others. But I'm going to give thanks to God for everything he's done. You take care. Bye-bye for now.